Hello everyone and welcome to our video on mastering RPA interviews. Whether you are a seasoned RPA developer or you just starting out. Having a solid understanding of common RPA interview questions and answers is crucial for landing your dream job in the field of RPA. Today we will be covering some of the most frequently asked questions during RPA interviews along with detailed answer to help you ace your next interview. So let's start. 1. What is Robotic Process Automation RPA? RPA is a technology that uses software robots or bots to automate repetitive tasks, mimicking human actions to interact with digital systems and applications. It aims to streamline business processes, increase efficiency, and reduce human intervention in routine tasks. 2. How does RPA differ from traditional automation techniques? Unlike traditional automation methods that require extensive coding and integration efforts, RPA allows for the automation of processes without modifying existing systems. It operates at the user interface, UI level, interacting with applications and systems just like a human user would, making it easier and faster to implement automation. 3. What are the key benefits of implementing RPA in an organization? Some key benefits of RPA include increased productivity and efficiency, improved accuracy and consistency in tasks, cost savings through reduced manual effort, scalability to handle repetitive tasks across various departments, and the ability to free up human resources for more strategic and value-added activities. 4. Can you explain the components of an RPA solution? An RPA solution typically consists of three main components, bots, software robots, that execute tasks, a control center for managing and monitoring bot activities, and development tools for creating, testing, and maintaining automation workflows. 5. What are some popular RPA tools in the market? Popular RPA tools include UiPath, Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, and OpenSpan, now Pega Robotic Automation. These tools provide features for process automation, bot creation, orchestration, analytics, and integration with various applications and systems. 6. How do you identify suitable processes for RPA implementation? Suitable processes for RPA implementation are typically rule-based, repetitive, and involve high volumes of manual work. Processes with structured data and clear decision trees are ideal candidates for automation. Conducting a thorough process assessment and feasibility study can help identify suitable processes for RPA. 7. What are the key challenges in RPA implementation? Some key challenges in RPA implementation include identifying appropriate processes for automation, managing bot performance and scalability ensuring security and compliance, handling exceptions and error handling, and effectively managing change within the organization to adopt automation. 8. How does RPA interact with existing IT systems and applications? RPA interacts with existing IT systems and applications through their user interfaces, emulating human actions such as mouse clicks, keyboard inputs, and data entry. It can integrate with various applications, databases, web services, and APIs to automate end-to-end -end business processes. 9. Can you explain the concept of attended versus unattended RPA robots? Attended RPA robots work alongside human users, assisting them in performing tasks in real-time, while unattended RPA robots operate independently, executing scheduled tasks without human intervention. The choice between attended and unattended robots depends on the nature of the process being automated and the level of human interaction required. 10. How do you ensure the security of data and processes in RPA? Ensuring security in RPA involves implementing measures such as role-based access control, encryption of sensitive data, secure communication protocols, auditing and logging of bot activities, regular security assessments, and compliance with industry regulations and standards such as GDPR and HIPAA. 
Eleven, what are some use cases or industries where RPA is commonly applied? RPA finds applications across various industries such as banking and finance for account reconciliation, loan processing, healthcare for claims processing, patient registration, retail for order processing, inventory management, manufacturing for supply chain management, invoice processing, and telecommunications for customer service, billing. 12. Can you explain the concept of bots in RPA? Bots, short for software robots, are the execution agents in RPA that automate tasks by interacting with applications and systems. Bots can perform tasks such as data entry, document processing, data extraction, report generation, and workflow automation. They are programmed to follow predefined rules and instructions to execute tasks accurately and efficiently. 13. What role does artificial intelligence, AI, play in RPA? AI technologies such as machine learning and natural language processing are integrated into RPA to enhance automation capabilities. AI enables bots to make data-driven decisions, handle unstructured data, understand and respond to natural language inputs, and continuously improve their performance through learning from data and interactions. 14. How do you measure the success of an RPA implementation? The success of an RPA implementation can be measured using key performance indicators, KPIs, such as process cycle time reduction, error rate reduction, cost savings, productivity gains, increased accuracy, compliance improvement, customer satisfaction improvement, and the ability to scale automation across multiple processes. 15. What are the considerations for scaling RPA within an organization? Scaling RPA within an organization involves considerations such as selecting scalable RPA platforms, establishing governance and control mechanisms, creating reusable automation components, ensuring proper infrastructure and resource allocation, providing ongoing training and support, and aligning RPA initiatives with business objectives and priorities. 16. How does RPA impact job roles and workforce dynamics? RPA can impact job roles by automating repetitive and mundane tasks, leading to the reskilling or upskilling of employees to focus on higher value tasks such as decision making, problem solving, creativity, and customer interaction. It can also create new job roles related to RPA development, implementation, governance, and maintenance. 17. What are the key considerations for selecting an RPA tool? Key considerations for selecting an RPA tool include ease of use and deployment, scalability and performance, compatibility with existing systems, support for various automation scenarios, vendor reputation and support, licensing and pricing models, security features, integration capabilities, and the availability of advanced functionalities such as AI and analytics. 18. How do you handle exceptions and error handling in RPA? Handling exceptions and errors in RPA involves implementing mechanisms such as exception handling routines, error recovery strategies, logging and notification mechanisms, retry mechanisms for transient errors, and escalation procedures for unresolved issues. It also involves designing robust error handling logic within automation workflows. 19. Can you explain the concept of citizen developers in RPA? Citizen developers are non-technical users within an organization who are empowered to create and deploy automation solutions using low-code or no-code RPA platforms. They typically have domain expertise but may not have extensive programming skills, allowing them to contribute to the development of automation solutions in their areas of expertise. 20. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements in RPA? Ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements in RPA involves implementing measures such as data encryption, access controls, audit trails, data masking for sensitive information, compliance monitoring and reporting, adherence to industry-specific regulations, example, GDPR, HIPAA, and collaboration with compliance and legal teams to ensure alignment with regulatory standards.
21. What are the main challenges faced during the implementation of RPA? Some common challenges during RPA implementation include resistance to change from employees, integration complexities with legacy systems, defining clear automation objectives, managing expectations, ensuring data security and compliance, and selecting appropriate processes for automation that deliver measurable business value. 22. How do you prioritize processes for automation in an organization? Process prioritization for automation involves assessing factors such as the frequency and volume of tasks, the level of manual effort required, the potential for error reduction, the impact on business outcomes, regulatory requirements, and the strategic importance of the process to the organization's goals. Processes with high automation potential and significant business impact are prioritized. 23. Can you explain the concept of process mining in the context of RPA? Process mining is a technique used to analyze and visualize existing business processes based on event logs and transaction data. It provides insights into process inefficiencies, bottlenecks, and variations, helping organizations identify suitable processes for automation and optimize existing processes before RPA implementation. Process mining tools extract data from IT systems and analyze process flows to uncover opportunities for automation and improvement. 24. What are the differences between attended and unattended RPA robots? Attended RPA robots work alongside human users, assisting them with tasks in real time, whereas unattended RPA robots operate independently, executing scheduled tasks without human intervention. Attended robots require human oversight and interaction, while unattended robots can perform tasks autonomously, often in batch processing mode, without the need for human supervision. 25. How do you ensure the resilience and reliability of RPA solutions? Ensuring resilience and reliability in RPA solutions involves implementing robust error handling mechanisms, monitoring and alerting systems, backup and recovery procedures, version control for automation workflows, regular testing and validation, and adopting best practices for development, deployment, and maintenance of RPA bots. 26. What are the key considerations for establishing an RPA Center of Excellence, COI? Establishing an RPA Center of Excellence, COI, involves considerations such as defining the COI's objectives and scope, identifying key stakeholders and sponsors, establishing governance and operating models, creating standards and best practices for RPA development and deployment, providing training and support, and fostering collaboration across departments to drive RPA adoption and success. 27. How do you handle exceptions and error handling in RPA? Handling exceptions and errors in RPA involves implementing mechanisms such as exception handling routines, error recovery strategies, logging and notification mechanisms, retry mechanisms for transient errors, and escalation procedures for unresolved issues. It also involves designing robust error handling logic within automation workflows.